Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your weekday weekend. I'm here with Telestris. Hello. We're back I'm in. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, there we go. We're back in uh, Starship Simulator. Man, he's got like the full on uh, thing going on here. Can I? Uh, uh, yep. Okay. I got my whole. Okay. Sweet. Now, I've been practicing, believe it or not. I I know what I'm doing now for a cold and dark startup. So we got this. We're I'm going sure we'll down. Get first try this time. I am confident that we will. We got this. Look at us just run. Look at that. Look at that run speed. That's crazy. It's uh Down we go. All right, you want to get them startup capacitors? Yeah, I got it. Cool. Figure the two of us, we can actually pass off tasks so we don't have to go all the way through the ship. Mm-hmm. There you go. Get all passages right. are online. Cool. Turning on the valves into the reactor. Right. Turn up Putting into startup. Bows are on. I'm gonna go over to the cryogenic. Let me know when the um when the vacuum pressure is normalized. Oh, one thing I can... ah the head bob kind of annoys me, but you can turn that off. Can you? Do uh, yes, if you press C, if you don't like the head bob, uh, it will okay. no head bob. Nice, okay. Much better. How's the vacuum right, pressure we, looking? Yeah, we're at a uh, good pressure now. Cool. Just need the temps to go down in order for me to engage the field coils. Pumps one, two, and three coming on. Helium chiller coming on. Oh man, I gotta open up the valves. Uh the ones are already open on the um Oh you already did that. Okay. I took care of that, yep. Okay. All the cryogenics are online. Alright, just waiting for temp uh get out of my way. <laughs> Who are you? Turnbull? What kind of name is that? Yeah, just waiting for the uh, the temperatures to yep, even yep. out. You to turn on the field coils. Alright, field coils are online. power supply cool go ahead and uh when you're ready switch us over to supply and we'll be all good we have switched over to supply all right we got uh unos coming online i think that's a really cool name unos united nations operating system yeah it's pretty good distributors coming on uh so we gotta do the jeffrey's tubes yep uh I gotta I connect all these distributors here. Okay, all distributors online. Uh you said port side starts first, right? Yes, port side starts first. Alright. According good. to that uh checklist at least. Whether it makes a difference, I don't know. But I don't either. Uh those ones seem online. Uh these oh, oh wait. Better just 
I'm going through as well. Oh, I'll go the other way. Sweet. Uh, connected, connected. Yeah. Revamp Master, how you doing over there, bud? Good. All right, I think oh. this is our last one. Sweet. Oh, and I missed this one. There we go. Cool. All right. We're all online. I think we might be good to, uh... Okay, there's... We don't do the G-Deck one first. We do the, um... We have the other for each floor. The, um... Fuck. It's yeah, the, uh, the, the tall ones. Yeah, yeah, these ones. Wait, we did do. Okay, never mind. No, we're good. Yeah. And you got that one, and now we can flip the G deck switch. And here we go. Hey, yeah. all right. Beautiful. As soon as I see them lights, I know we did it right. Oh, you got that one. All right, now we go upstairs. Go up, yeah. Yep, do the same thing. Everything seems good up here. Wait. Now. Now we just go up to the bridge. I think it's over here. Revan Master says he's forcing himself to play DD2. DD2. What is DD2? What am I missing? Ah, shit. Dance, dance 2? It might be. Oh, I'm like stuck. Oh, I like fell over. It's weird. Bridge is up and running. Sweet, sweet. All right. I'm excited to see what else. It's kind of weird, but I, I'm excited to see what else ends up here um, on the captain's panel because right now it's just the alert status. But in the dev stream that they just did, I saw that he had another screen down here on the armrest part. So I'm interested I'm hoping to it see. Gives you like a a minimum update of like what's going on in the ship and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, I think what I'm most excited for is. Um, proximity chat and just chat over the whole ship so there's i guess going to be like interdepartmental intercom and then uh like the department head is going to be able to communicate uh directly to different department heads it's going to be really interesting where should uh where should we head did you pick a heading already oh i can i can absolutely uh, where would find you like something to go? that's All a right, good question go uh let's go to sirius all right Send to helm. Use sensor target. Auto navigation. Oh, that's. Huh? Can you? We. Oh, we should definitely visit Wolf 359. I did, actually, the other day. It's kind of uneventful. Any huh? Any Borg there? Uh, no. No, luckily, luckily, no. There were no Borg. Ah, scammed. The 
there's there was USS a John Paul Jones. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, fun fact, actually, I was um, I served on the John Paul Jones for a week, hmm. but uh, that, that was a good time. Um, that was a pretty decent ship. Plus, I like the name. So that's why yeah, 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 of course. For whatever reason, it's not actually showing me the target you have selected. Is yours showing, like, on the HUD on the screen? Yeah, I think only the um, the server owner sees it. Huh, interesting. Maybe I'm wrong, but every time I've hosted a server with other people, they've never been able to see it, but I can always see it. Huh, all right. I can see it here. But I can't see it out there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe that's a glitch or something? It might be. Maybe it's something they're working on. Maybe. Oh, jeez. I got tablets flying around. Oh. There you go, Jim. Hit your feet. Oh, I was in the sphere. That's why. Yeah, yeah, it's been... I've wondered that to myself. I'm like, who turned the lights off? You're standing in the hollow display. I do hope there's, like, um... Not necessarily survival kind of stuff going on. But, you know, just, like, a little bit more than... Like, I, I hope that food is not just for show, you know? Yeah, um, he mentioned a little bit about that. About, uh, your needs and, and stuff like that. I do seem to remember, um, I think he did mention that, you know, each one, each person, each, uh, role on the ship is definitely going to have an, a need and a necessity. So it seems like, um, oh, here we come. Seems like food and rest are definitely going to be an actual necessity in the game. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah, hang on. We got windscreen con uh, shade controls over here, actually. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, no, Polarization. Those are shutters. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. A little bit better. I think on the other side there's like actual no where are we? I think it's these. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah there's like shield shutters. Man, that is actually really gorgeous to look at. I like the uh the plasma moving on the uh Yeah. Shield. That looks really good. That's really good looking. Not just a JPEG. Man. It's really nice. Here, I bet you we get a better view from, um... Bet you could get a better view by flying inside of it. Probably, yeah. I was gonna say a better view from... from... observation deck, maybe? I Is mean, there a forward around. deck? If I turn around, yeah, we get a good That's fair. View. So there's not really a forward deck to get a better view. I think the park would be that what you're looking for. Yeah. Well, I've turned us around, so the. Uh, yeah, there we go. The lounge should be good too. Oof, the lounge needs polarization controls as well. It's super bright. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't think, think the lounge good. has it. Which is a mild setback for anyone in here. Maybe they're behind the bar. No. I can't imagine they're not coming at some point because they're on most every window. Yeah. So it would make I mean, sense. I for... do like having my retinas burned out by the sun. Can we use the piano? Yeah. Yeah, you can. It's really cool. That's impressive. Right? Yeah. Uh... I hope they're by all means when when voice chat is implemented 
when the captain addresses the entire crew, it better do the whole, like, the whole whistle deal. It better do that. Oh. <laughs> the uh, boatswain whistle. Yeah, there we go. I didn't know the right name for it, but. I had to remember that, too. There's an apple up here. Oh, wait, it is. Oh, I, I didn't even know this over here existed. You want some toilet paper? <laughs> uh, this is not 2020. I think I'll be alright. Yeah, there's like a storage room back here. I went exploring the other day. Yeah, there's like extra chairs in here. I think, yeah. I just figured you might want the toilet paper for all the BS you're spitting. <laughs> <laughs> the mop, too. Dude, this is mine. I gotta go clean. I guess a janitorial job is actually something in the works. He showed how, uh, over time, carpets are going to get dirty and stuff. I don't see what a mop is going to do, though. It doesn't seem to be much of a floor that would, would require a mop. Well, actually, if you... Hang on. If you press, um... Say, I don't think I can do it because it's not my ship. Let's see. Is it F6? No. So, if you press, um... F3. F3. And then you can go into the flooring style on one of the tabs, and you yeah. can change it to, like, hardwood. Oh. I think the hardwood looks good. Oh, shit. I just, like, oh. tripped. Uh, is it changing for you? I got to uh, save first. So no. you might have to apply it. It's not changing for me. Resin? Wood? Is it changing just for you? It's not changing at all for me. Huh. I can change the oh, colors. Oh, hang on. It's changing on the bridge. Oh, is it just the bridge? Maybe it is for now. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's changing in here. Command deck oh, is wow. definitely entirely different. <laughs> Has the walls changed for you? Yeah. Yeah, we got, we got deep blue. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm blue. If I were green, I would die. <laughs> oh. Blood red? Let's, uh, let's go back to... Uh... Yeah, let's just go back to... <laughs> Wait. Position normal. Oh yeah, you can also do seasonal decorations, so Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you, yes. Where's my Hanukkah? Hanukkah. Ah. I, I'm sure they'll add stuff for Hanukkah. Let me see. Uh, Alright. What else is there? Oh, there's Hollow's Weens. That's a little bit boring, not gonna lie. A little bit. What weeds look nice, though? Adam Savage. Yep, yep. Are we jumping right now? Uh, no. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. I definitely haven't hijacked the ship. Oh. Oh, that's good. I was worried for nothing then. I'll believe you. No, we're going to Wolf 359. Oh, good. Uh, we can't go back to the wood. On the... Actually, I'm curious. Um, if I go in here, does the doorbell work? Did you hear anything? No, I did not. Okay. Interesting. The button, the doorbell button doesn't do anything yet. Unless it's just like... Hey, can we do a favor and just go in there real quick? Now you're going to lock me in? Good, good, good. Luckily, I saw you type the password. So. No, I've been, <laughs> I've been foiled. I also oh, think. Oh, it changed out here too, actually. The the flooring. Oh. I guess it just doesn't change in the. 
the lounge. Huh. Which is kind of sad. Interesting. Which, uh, I wonder if the lounge might eventually have its own controls so you can kind of make it uh, whatever you want it. That would be nice. I would like that. That, that would make sense. Um, I like the um, the window controls for um, the uh, meeting room and the captain and first officer's ready rooms. I haven't actually checked those out, to be honest. There's, um, there's the polarizer just oh. like the bridge, but then you can turn a scene projection on. Oh. So now we're just in an autumn park. Wow, or, that's a uh, really high-definition image. Yeah, right? Uh, rocky Desert. Shady Forest. It actually looks quite good, honestly. I don't know if I'd want to relax to that forest, though. I feel like some Freddy Krueger or Jason will come out and, you know, kill me or something. Whereabouts are you, by the way? I am in what I believe is the first officer's quarters, or, um, office. Okay, okay. Um... Ah, yes. No, reminds me of home. Oh, yeah, you can just, like, ride yeah. around. And... We're going to have to do some uh, chair racing. Yeah, some point. yeah, I agree. Maybe that's why the yeah. um, the lift, I'm going to be much oh. more. It does to go down the stairs. Interesting. I'm going to be much more reasonable and take the elevator. The real question is, does it go up? No. That's a no. Is... Wait. Yes. You can jump <laughs> in the chair. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Okay, next time we play, we've got to grab chairs from the meeting room and then cold and dark start with office chairs only. Oh yes. Oh my god. I was not expecting this to be a thing. They did set up uh, office chair races. In the trailer, so that's awesome. That I, is... I hope there's like some speed fluctuation, though. Oh yeah, of course. Like right now, I think I'm catching up to you. I think I'm catching up to you. Feel like we're um the Dalek. Dalek. Exterminate. Soft, soft, warm Dalek, but a little ball of hate. Happy Dalek, Sleepy Dalek, Exterminate. Are we still at work? I don't know. I haven't heard us drop out of, drop out of work. We're going to have to go check it out. It doesn't look like we're still at work. <laughs> the fact that you can jump in these seats. Oh man, that's bright. Oh jeez. Uh, the shaders on. There we go. Uh, much oh, much better. Oh, that looks amazing. That actually looks really good. Oh, you quitter. How do you get out of the? There we go. I like the permanent. Uh, What's it, uh, the flares? Yeah. Flares just permanently there. How do I accelerate without going to warp? Mm, that's a good question. Scroll, scroll, scroll. No, that doesn't work. Uh, F4. Uh, throttle is numpad plus and minus. Numpad plus, oh. Oh wait, so is field power? I don't think that's true. Because it's just increasing the field power for the uh, FPL. Hmm. Interesting. I think you've lied to me. Listen, I'm just telling you what the quick reference told me, okay? Are you telling me that the quick reference lied? Yes. Oh, wait, there's an exterior shot. Oh my god. 
You have an exterior camera? Yeah, if you put, press C enough in the, well, I guess the pilot's chair. In my so it's probably just the pilot chair. Hang on, what if I sit in like a command chair? Do I get it? Maybe. Mm, no. No. Interesting. This is a pretty nice ship. Kind of reminds me of uh, not a Miranda class at all. The next version is going to be way different that he's designing right now. Yeah, I saw that. It looked pretty neat. I can't wait to see the actual... <gasps> wait! The whole <laughs> the name is on the whole... Yeah, yeah. If you change the name, it uh, changes it everywhere. I wonder if it... Uh, can I change the color of that? It does not look like it can. Kind of blends in a little bit too much. I remember him saying that he wanted to uh, incorporate HOTAS controls, hand on throttle and stick. So if, oh. if you have throttle and stick on your, like, for flight controls and stuff, then you can do that yeah. with the helm. You guys more, made more progress with this than the Star Citizen. I know they're planning to be, um, to have, like, a proper alpha version uh, by this time next year. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still play that game, but I don't believe a word they say about dates. If there's a date, it's wrong. That's why I've learned about it. Yeah, I mean, and he even said, like, listen, you know, game dev is hard, so take every everything I tell you with a grain of salt, but yeah. he's like, we'd hope to, have to be ready by this time next year, but that doesn't mean literally anything. It's gonna. And I, I do appreciate that he's, you know, at least accepting the fact now. Yeah. Just straight up giving dates. Like he used to. He used mm. to just give us dates. Like, yeah, yeah, no, uh, February 4th. Uh, yeah, this is going to be done. Yeah, mm. like but this game, I, I already am enjoying and... It's still a very, very early... The, the attention to detail. Yeah, that too. The fact that it's already so good and there's already so much detail so early on. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it, what he said, he said he's focusing on one thing at a time, which is the right thing to do. Like, yeah. You know, just fix or do one thing, get it done, and then move on to the next. Yeah. The only problem you can ah. potentially have with that is that if you get tired of working on one thing and you half-ass the rest of it, but, I mean, that happens... That's... Oh, that's when you take a break from that one particular thing and just do something else for a minute and come back to something else. Yeah. So. Where are you? Uh, the bar. Get you a gift. A gift. Where are you yeah. coming from? Coming from the uh, engine room. From upstairs. Oh God, I can see my. Hello. It's a I companion cube. It's your box. I have a box. Ah, oh, thank you. It's all the fucks that I give. It's a lot of fucks that you give. Hey, hang on, hang on here. Where's, where's the, uh, where's the shuttle bay? I need to chuck these fucks off into into space. I think it's habitation. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, habitation. You are here. Let's go this way. And then pretend like I know where I'm going. One of us has to. Listen, you can only go one wrong way. <laughs> it's just happened to go that one wrong way. It is a circle, so we'll end up in the right spot eventually. Is this it down here? No, that's the park. Oh, is it? Okay. Wait. Sure. Is it? Now I don't know. I didn't realize they were the same thing. I think it. I think I went the wrong way again. All right, back around. Um. All right, is this it? No, I was right the second time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, I just Forgive jumped me. to my death. Oh. Oh. 
Are you just endlessly falling now? No, I'm fine. I, I'm not endlessly falling, but it wasn't great. I can't I pick up the storage crate anymore. Hello? Wait, that's uh, the the shelf, eh? Is it? It's just like an empty room. I mean, that is essentially what a shuttle bay is. True. But there's not even a door. I think I'm at the shuttle bay, and I did just drop the storage crate off the edge of the ship. Perfect. As we have accomplished the mission. Yep, yep. Wait, is this it? I see a giant hole into space. Well, I don't think this is the shuttle bay, but it is a hole into space. Hmm. Which, I mean, arguably could be considered a shuttle bay. I am in what I think is actually the shuttle bay. And it does have a force field covered hole into space. Oh, wait, I found it. I think. Where am I? I don't know. Oh, here we go. Hello? Yeah. Hey! Hello. Yeah, this is... There's a... Over here. Oh. I tried using the windows as a door. It didn't seem to Sometimes work. Sometimes it works. Bye. I'm gonna talk to you anyways. Oh. Ah! <laughs> oh shit, I fell too. Oh, well... At least it knows better. Cool. I don't like how it teleports me back. It should just suffocate me to death. I gotta try oh, this, um... Nice wine bottles. I gotta try this extra uh, camera mode in the, in the helm. Hey, alright. That's awesome. Yeah, the giant gaping holes in the side of the ship are a little weird. I'm sure but... it'll be fine. Nothing ever went wrong with a giant gaping hole in anything. Um, I just put my wine bottle right here on on the helm. It's cool how you can see into yep. the ship from the third person camera. You can see along the outskirts of it. It's really cool. I like that. I like that satellite dish on top of it. Spins. Can we pick up these pumpkins? <gasps> we can't pick up the pumpkins. Or I should say the prop name. <laughs> okay, F four is gonna be. I can just. <gasps> um, I can seven and nine. I cannot rotate. Well, I mean, I can, but not the way I should. Oh. Oh. Numpad is a much better way to control the ship. Oh, is it? Very interesting, because you have pitch and roll rather than just WASD. Oh. So you can, like... Well, we can only accelerate to about 30, whatever that is kilometers a second that seems pretty slow all right let's see here Go. i don't know if you've noticed but our available our reactor available power is um 1.21 gigawatts is that all? That's what it says. Reactor available. Okay, well, we're going to go to the furthest possible galaxy or planet that we can. Um, I tried actually typing in. Um, if you type in, uh, like, 000. Yeah. Um, it takes about 3.77 days to get there, apparently. I think that's the center of the galaxy, isn't it? Yeah. Here, so my positioning. Use sensor target. Noise is computer. Use sensor target. Uh, autopilot. 
see how long it's going to take us to get here. Uh, two years, one year, a couple days. Well, luckily it's dropping significantly. Wait, this is only 21 light years. I, I thought you're taking 50. 50 light years. Is it? Oh, I don't think they have anything past 21 light years yet. ETA four minutes. That's a good amount of time. Give me my wine bottle. Maybe we get drunk off of wine. Oh! They just. What did I just do? I'll do that again. I'm very interested to see what other bridge positions there end up being. Also, I love how the bridge stations have cup holders. Yes, a perfect place to put my wine while I fly the ship. Except the helmsman position does not have a cup holder. Well, I will force a cup holder. And oddly enough, the command stations do not have a cup holder either, which is weird. I wonder if the screen's gonna work. That'd be kind of cool if they like intertwine this with uh, YouTube like some other games do. Just yeah, that'd be cool. Like watch party on board the ship. That would be really cool, actually. So the one thing I noticed is the mop can interact with other objects, but it can't interact with people. Hmm. I also saw that he's planning on um, integrating a system similar to um, to the uh, No Man's Sky system of like a first discovered by system. Mm. Um, so you'll be able to go on their website, claim like your ship name, and yeah. then uh, be do like a first discovered by. Which I really yeah. like the idea of. Yeah. Give people a reason to actually explore. Yeah. I guess the lore of the game is like, this is the first like experimental vessel going out into space from Earth. Um, so basically, if the Enterprise is like, okay, we know what we're doing. Here's our five-year mission. This is like right before it. Like, let's see if it might actually be plausible to do a mission like that. Okay. That seems um, actually kind of interesting. I like uh, giving people like the ability to actually explore and the exploration meaning something. Exactly, yeah. Like, there are a lot of stars. Like a lot and of so stars. He said it's going to be a one-to-one -one scale galaxy. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That is a lot. It's... It's billions of planets. Never mind that. That's billions of stars, too. Mm -hmm. You gotta end up on the other side of the galaxy in the Delta Quadrant, like Voyager. That would be interesting, for sure. Let's uh, just recreate Star Trek Voyager on YouTube. But better. Yeah. Let's do we'll it. it. We'll, we'll call it... Uh, Space movement. Uh, th they all mean the same thing. <laughs> oh god, what have I done? Oh no. There we go. Wait, can we get the oh, We can pick up the fire extinguisher. Nice.
19 Lord. seconds to uh, destination. I really hope he adds mass to some of this stuff. Like, I feel like a store, a large storage container shouldn't be bouncing around. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that'll be a thing very soon. It's a personal thing. And we're arriving at your uh, requested destination. Nothing. Gonna get very bright very quick. That's something I can knock over but can't pick up. Oh, geez. Hey, who made a mess of the engine room? Probably you. Nope. I, I do not claim fault for that. All right, we are at your requested uh, location. Oh, good. I'm almost up there. Man, it almost feels like we haven't even left home yet. Mm, base pizza. Uh oh, there we go. We could go check out one of the plants too. Uh, Sure. Or just the stars. Let's see here. Star system. Uh, any uh, there's gas dwarfs? No gas giants. That's kind of sad. We can go to this one. Send it over. Sent. All right. One. Almost there. Almost there. Whoa. Turned out the There's polarization. A... Hey, there it is. Ooh, it almost looks like Jupiter. It does. Nice. Oh, I wonder if any of them are going to have rings. I would think so. so uh, let's try another one. Let's try this one. It's the closest to the terrestrial planet, so... Yeah. I would assume chances of having rings are probably a little bit higher. I don't know if that's scientifically accurate, but Who knows? it sounds about right. It sounds reasonable. He said okay. he these plants explorable, right? Uh, at some point, yeah, he's, he's planning on having them there. Okay, so if you look down here, there's a spot for sublight engines that there's nothing there for yet, so I wonder if um, eventually that's the goal. But right now, there isn't anything sublight. Hmm. I hope so, because I'd like to be able to fly around. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure there will be. Oh, that's cool. You can see the star, too. Went up on it. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, yeah, it does My logic right. worked. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's real nice. Real nice, Mrs. Pancakes. Real nice. Real nice. If only we had sublight engines, we could just fly into it. Oh, that'd be fun. I mean, that'd be catastrophic, but it would be fun. 
one's catastrophic is another one's amusement. That's true. Um, he did also basically say that um, that would be really the only loading screen he would ever want in the game, which would be taking a shuttle down to the planet just I to load the planet surface. I'm completely fine with that. If it's right. a not necessarily noticeable, uh, if you ever play Imperion, Galactic yeah. Adventures, or Galactic Survival, uh, they have one where it's just like it, it pauses for like half a second and then it continues on. I yeah, he basically said it would be masked by some sort of cutscene of like the shuttle undocking or something like that. Um, uh, okay. Basically, so that, you know, it might not even be that long of a cutscene, but because the galaxy, it really. What's happening is because all the players are on the ship, the galaxy is moving around the ship rather than the ship moving around the galaxy. Right. So, if players were also on the planet, that would mean that the, the planet would then have to move at that amount of speed with all the players on it, which wouldn't make any sense. So, mm. to do it that way, you would basically load the players into onto the planet and then... So that makes sense. Yeah. Probably done better than most games, I'm sure. Better than I could do. I would just hope it's not from, like, directly from the shuttle bay where the cutscene starts. I would like to, like, be able to fly around the ship, for example. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, all that's way later on anyway, so... Yeah, absolutely. One step at a time, for sure. Yeah. Um, another cool thing that I learned while watching this stream you just did, if you're sitting at the helm, hey, go ahead and go ahead and sit at the helm. Okay. And then press the home key on your keyboard. Um, and then autopilot engage. No way, this is gonna send us back home. It takes you back to Seoul. It takes you back Gas to Earth. Dwarf. That's where we're going. We're going to a gas dwarf. It's just really cool how, like, that keyboard command is also is already programmed into the computer. That's very functional, that's for sure. Uh, how long is it going to take us to get there? A couple Five. minutes. The, the fact that this uh, game actually works, like how Warp actually is supposedly supposed to warp, work, where it yeah. uh, pulls the universe around the ship, moves the universe around the ship. That's really cute. Uh, really cool, yeah. Random bottle of beer on the floor. I'm going to assume that was you. I'm offended that you would assume such a thing. Just because this an alcoholic beverage just land randomly on the floor, you think it's me? How dare you, sir? Just because of the way you mentioned that, uh, that, uh, you were throwing wine around. It could have been anyone. There's, there's other people on board this ship, too. It could have been one of them. You never know. It could have been you, and you're just trying to pull the blame on me. Let me just disconnect the lighting. This part of the ship, very interesting. They help me focus on my animals. I can just disconnect this whole quadrant, I guess. Which is also very interesting. It would be cool if they added like force fields in certain areas on the ship too. Where you could get, like uh, section off the ship. That would be really interesting. That way I could just lock you behind one of them. Of course, that is your sole purpose for it. I mean, and uh, in case there's ever hole damage and we need to section off the ship in order to prevent atmospheric leakage. Into yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I, I definitely have no ulterior motives. No, of course not. I would never. Few minutes remaining until we get to this gas dwarf of whatever kind. I didn't realize Soul was a gas dwarf. That's new to me. What is this 
map is dope. This map is so cool. It is. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Do you have um, sublight uh, engines now? Uh, no, but maybe it's because I'm still in war. That's fair. When we get out of it, check it out. Because I just realized there's um, breakers for uh, sublight propulsion that were all off. So maybe it's available to you now? Uh, yeah, give me like about 40 seconds or so. Do I hear a cat? I'm gonna take that as a no and I'm just going insane. Got you. I'm gonna say you're going insane, yeah. Almost there. Mars, Venus, Mercury, Mars, Mercury, Venus. Gas dwarf. Oh wait, no. I was wrong. It's not. It's Earth that's the gas dwarf. Okay. Nice, nice. I mean, this is 2261. You said that's the year this is set in, so, um. Wait, what? Why are we so far away? Maybe Earth has decreased in size over the next 200 years and to answer your question no do the subways drive darn hmm. can we get closer to earth Any faster than this, please. Yes, we can. We can go all the way. Wait. All the way. Where are we going? All the way. All the way. Oh, um, hang on, I'm gonna drift this bitch. Thing. God, I can't wait for the turbo lifts to be working. It's a lot of stairs, man. You could use this exercise. Oof. I didn't mean it like that. I'm, I'm, I just mean your your exercise uh, is always a good thing. I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we are just going in circles right now. Just don't. Don't worry about me walking up behind you about to bash your head in with a baseball bat. Oh, you could use the exercise. We are, we are just flying around Earth right now. The fuck are you doing? I said, I went to warp, said to autopilot, and we're now orbiting Earth at whatever speed this godforsaken number is. Uh, 4.7 million times the speed of light? Yeah, that. Go ahead and just disengage that. Um. I no longer feel safe with you at the helm. Why? <laughs> Something about the 4.7 million times the speed of light. 
Where even is Earth? What have you done? Oh, it's... Where is she? It's someplace around here. You just gotta look very hard for it. I just engage auto by the... Um, fine. Look, there it is, right in front of uh, us. Uh, uh, I don't even see it. What? Well, that's okay, because you don't need to see it. Because you're going to see it in a few seconds anyways. We somehow got 0. 0.33 light years away from Earth. It's probably something to do with the fact that we were traveling at 4.7 million times the speed of light. If, uh, remember, rules were made to be broken. That includes mm -hmm. the speed of light. Okay. Are we gonna actually get there? Hey, there we go. I hope, I hope it actually, you know, gets us close to Earth and doesn't just keep us, you know, moon orbit away. What? Hello, Earth. My gas dwarf. Beautiful. There she is. That's a really good texture model on that, too. It is. Wait. So that's Italy. Okay, I see how this is. Okay, so we are sideways with the planet. We are. How do I roll? Uh, do you have the 7 key on your keyboard? Yeah. Ah. You just um, add four, five, six, and eight, and then seven and nine. Okay, I got you. One, two, and three don't do anything. I got you. Perfect. There it is. We got a nice view of. The European continent. Nice. Oh, excuse me. And there's Africa. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And he's gone. Hey, look, it's nighttime. You just turn out the lights on Earth. Okay, I didn't need to see where they're going anyways. Alright, and uh, weapon station. Go ahead and uh, power up. Good to go. Let me just lock on Death Star laser beam onto the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the plan. If only. Do you think that would be like an asset that he adds to the game? Just, you know, Death Star laser cannon? Yeah, you might as well. That would be a great idea. Why discover planets when you can destroy planets? And then you know you're the only ones in the universe because you killed everyone else. It sounds like a them issue. Is there a way to, like, blow up the ship yet? Not that I know of. What would happen if I overheated the ship? Uh, let's find out. Yeah, I agree. You want to kick us into high warp for me? Anywhere? Oh, I'm already in engineering. <laughs> oh, here. Uh, I was going to say, I'll kick us into high warp, and then you go turn off all of the cryogenic pumps. Okay. Yeah, just let me know when you're ready. Uh, max engage. Hang on. Right, let me let, let it build up. Yeah, I'll let you know when we're. Uh... I'll let you know when we're. Uh... 
How did you even get it past 100%? It Good won't question. even let me. I don't know. It won't let me. I was just pressing buttons and suddenly I'm at 107%. Um, maybe I have to let it get up out of 100? No? F4? Uh, Gift Numpad Plus? No? Interesting. Yeah, I don't know how you did that. Anyway, we're at top speed right now. Getting, uh, bumps. Oh. We're dropping velocity. Oh, good. We're adrift. Adrift at warp speed. Dropped out of I mean, warp. if you really think about it, we shouldn't slow down. Uh. All that should happen is it ejects us from warp speed and we just continue going whatever speed that is until, yeah. you know, we die. Re-engage the uh, the pumps since apparently can't just blow up the ship. What a drag! I can't believe they would do this to us. Right. Yeah, no power. Darn. You would think that we were just blown up from overheating the warp core, but yeah. All right, pumps are back online. We shouldn't have to do. I just switches much. back over to startup. Okay. I think batteries are what's keeping the lights on. Just gotta wait for the vacuum pressure to stabilize. Right. And then we'll actually probably be back online. There we go. Yep. There, we go. there we go. Back online. Nice. Back on generator. How did the batteries take that? Let's see. We've lost six batteries. Let's see. Uh, pretty good actually. I'm surprised that more of them didn't uh, didn't go out. We're eighty two percent like... still. Yeah, all these seem pretty high. Ninety five percent. Surprised it kicked us out of warp when we have so much power left. Yeah, I wonder if it drains the batteries and fills batteries um, evenly. I think it does. Yeah, because everything's at like 95%. Oh, well, no, some of them are at 96, 98. But, I mean, it's still hmm. pretty even. Hmm. Interesting. So, hang on. If I turn the reactor to isolate, I think that would mean that the batteries are no longer connected. Is that correct? Correct. How are they draining? Are they draining fast or? They all say time to depletion about 11 minutes, give or take, for each of them. Hmm. So they're on 95 still, but assuming that time is correct. Hang on, minutes, let's. Uh, let's like a uh, lot of time for all these batteries. To be no, interesting. Let's. let's um, Hmm? Let's see if I can kill that time even faster here. Let's go on up to the to the bridge. Oh, let's see what happens. I'm I'm fully testing this bitch now, seeing what she can do. <laughs> the sound of your feet scurrying on the on the deck when you run. I'll be honest. I just have the uh, 
I have my game muted. Uh, let's just press max engage. We instantly dropped hey. out. Hmm. Yeah, everything but 10 minutes remaining. Hmm. It's trying its best. But I would, I, I would imagine a warp core is not going to run off of, of battery. Oh, come well. on. I mean, that's just me, per se. Sounds like quitter talk to me. Unmount? I wonder what that does. Oh. Mount. Oh, so we can secure the batteries if we don't want to utilize them. That's pretty hmm. cool. Okay, interesting. It's a shame. Ah, <gasps> oh, that's what they need to add. Generator ejector. Okay, interesting. Oh, a lady just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Woo. Still need to uh, have a way to like overload the core, blow it up. I'm sure at some point that will be a thing. I would appreciate that. The I'm only problem with that... The only problem with that is, um... Trolls. Well, this seems more like a... I mean, it's like a... Friends-only kind of game. That's fair. I mean, I can imagine maybe like if there's public servers, it would be a, a bad time. But you know what? Except for casualties. In order to advance the human race, there must be sacrifices. Sounds like elf talk to me, says Revan Master. Whoa. We don't we don't speak like that around here. I mean, uh, someone's beer that they just left lying around. The <laughs> can we, um, can we, uh, can we, like, spin things around? Maybe. I don't know, try it. Press Q, it kind of just levitates there. Hmm. I can, like, drag it in and out. If I press Q, it drags in. E seems like... Oh! If I press R, it, it doesn't let me rotate it, but it brings it back to its standing position. There we go. So now... Now, am I using the batteries if I try to use it to go to work? Will this work? Oh, I want to know how to actually use the batteries, because he mentioned how a ship utilizing battery power over, um, over just reactor power, a ship mm -hmm. at full, full warp, full reactor power, will light up like a Christmas tree on sensors compared to a ship on battery power, power moving slow. Hmm. 
it does indeed look like we are able to keep the warp field online. So let's uh, see if I'm draining the batteries here. Oh yeah, it's dropping. Oh, but these ones are at like 48 minutes now. But we are dropping. Yes, we are. Interesting. What if I had mount one? Did I change anything? Yeah, that changes the amount of time it takes. So they are, it is eating away at every single one simultaneously. Yeah. So if you do take one offline, that's going to drain the amount of time you have left in all the batteries. Makes sense. And the reactor has been disconnected from the batteries and they all do say no charge input so the reactor is not powering the batteries that's good so that means we can flight in without a reactor we can survive say. for a little while <laughs> without a reactor we can survive for a little while that's good so if we run on battery we can um restart the whole reactor so if I just out of curiosity let's see if I if I terminate the reaction do we drop out of work yep, yep. we did indeed huh see that's weird Because you would think the reactor wouldn't have to be online. For the... Cause it, well, did you isolate the core first before you dropped? I did. Okay. So interesting because I would think that because it's pulling power from the batteries anyway and it disconnected I think it's the fact that the batteries like distribution system itself still needs the reactor power right but there's probably a way to switch that over to the battery. The battery needs to run on itself. I just don't know how. Uh, reactor room supply. There's also a lot of things that are just not in game yet. So that's fair. Just switch that to supply. Unos comes back on. Reactor feed from there. Wait, 
They do appreciate all the sticky notes too around the ship saying. Hey, yeah, hey. yeah, that is hilarious. Some people do tend to forget that it's an early access game. Actually, it's yeah. early access to a demo. So with the reactor on supply, if I do terminate, that still all goes offline. Interesting. Very interesting. One second, everybody. Um, now I want to find out how to do this, because I'm sure there is a way. Well, what? Wait, you have some power choice in here. Alright. My question is, can I take this plant and firmly place it on the hull of the ship? <laughs> I cannot scan. Unplayable. Ah, why does he have to be a good developer who thinks of these kinds of things? <laughs> hmm. So if I go to up here and I Something. You found something? I did. What'd you Are find? You I'm in the reactor room. Give me a second. I'll show you in a second. I don't see the big one. Right back. Yeah, you've got a, uh, a camera. <laughs> the flying cameras are fun. Pretty cool. You can probably use it as like a... You think of them as like drones or something? This would actually be great for like uh, YouTube. I mean, honestly, if it would, yeah. Thing was, oh, oops. If they could get this uh, UI off the screen, yeah, it would be great. I think there's that. a way to hide the HUD. Hang on. Um, toggle HUD H. H. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Why 
for me. I can go outside now. This would be like great for you know people who are trying to, I don't know, create a online like a uh, role play with their friends or something like that. Oh yeah, and absolutely. Or something. Oh, and he has a flashlight too. That's good. Oh. What? Big door. Come on down to real fake doors. <laughs> No, wait, is that a window? It is a window. And there's something in the window. Oh, that's just a hangar bay. I've been lied to again. This time I lied to myself. What are you lying to yourself for? Uh, Because I don't like the truth that I want to hear. You can't handle the truth. You're right, I can't handle the truth. Which is why you're lying Therefore, to yourself. I'm having existential crisis. I'm trying to find this hangar bay. I'm trying to fly outside. Get a cool look at the ship. Is, is this the exit? I don't know because it's dark. Oh. <laughs> I wish it was a little bit faster too, that would be nice. Yeah. I get to have vacuuming again. Huh? I heard it's like a vacuum or something. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like my girlfriend's doing some vacuuming. Oh, uh, okay. She might have spilled. She does a lot of uh, house plants, so she might have spilled some dirt around or something. Yeah, okay. Oh, finally, I found the way out. Okay, I may have lied about this being great use of the camera. There is no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the entire ship is just a dark circle. Oops. There's there's nothing to see. There's no point having an outside view. Unless you're probably in like a solar system. We're, I guess we're in like the dead of space, aren't we? Yeah, we flew into nowhere for quite a while. Yeah. Oh, there's a nebula up there. Oh? Maybe this is a good one. There's two nebulas. Maybe it Maybe. is a good time to die. Prepare for ramming speed. Yes, yeah, so we're going to ram the nebula. Yep. Let me, let me aim for it. I cannot control. Uh, do we not have power to the ship? Uh, we should. 
Very confident. Hang on. I love it. Reactor's on. I mean, okay, we're on battery, but, have, but... But do I have power to engines and whatnot? Hang on. Try now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so basically all the distributors still need reactor power. Even if I'm not pumping the reactor power through to whatever things, the distributors themselves need the reactor power, which is weird that you can't tell them to go on startup. Oh, wait, we don't have... We don't come have from battery. We should. That's a great keyword there, isn't it? <laughs> there we go, see. We'll just pump the reactor in because I want to see this nebula, so... Hang on, I'm captain the bridge here. I should probably go up one level so that I can actually, you know... Come up to the bridge. Let's see if we can get there. Oh, we'll get there. It's the last thing I do if we can get there. Even if I have to bring us to 107% power again. I still don't know how you managed to do that. You know, it's all skill. You gotta, you know, know what you're doing. Uh, but uh, luckily for me, I I don't know how I did it in the first place. I think it just kind of spammed. Still did what I wanted it to do. Maybe. Oh, Jesus! There was a tablet on my chair and it bugged me the hell out. Oops. It's a cool no, looking nebula good. for sure. Yeah, we can just keep going straight until either we realize it doesn't exist or we actually hit something. I like how you're just named Captain now. Uh, yeah, that's my name. Just Captain. Just Captain Captain. That's cool. I don't even think I'm the Captain. I think I was the Chief Engineer last time I checked. That's okay. I've got the role of Admiral, yeah. apparently. Here we go. Here, let's... A, uh... a fitting role for you. There we go. This tablet is molded to the floor, apparently. Oh, oh, there we go. Good job. Get some good bounces in, though. Well, we know it's not an Apple product, because it would have shattered into a million pieces by now. Rude. And we know it's not a Samsung, because it would have just blown up in our face. <laughs> No, Samsung's don't blow up in your face. They blow up in your pocket. Oh, that too. So, I hope they add smash physics to the pumpkins. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, does it feel like... Is it just me or does it actually feel like we might be getting closer? Maybe. Maybe we're not. Maybe we're not. I, I don't think so. I don't think so either. Well, I'd say we're quickly getting nowhere. Very quickly. Well, can I push us to our limits? And by that, I mean beyond the limits that this game sets in place for me. Yeah, that's 110% power there, Helmsman. I'm taking command of this vessel. Let's lock the bridge here. No one can no one can stop us. Um Oh, there's a privacy screen for the bridge door. That's cool. Oh, is there? Yeah. You don't need to see Close what's going on here, guys. Door. Um. Door locked as well. All right. No, I can't do it again. It's a one-time deal. 
Damn, it does seem to be a little teensy bit larger, but not by much. I don't know how they would... Either know, there's like going to be something three. there, or we're just going to hit the skybox. Whichever one comes first. Right. We are definitely moving in that direction, though. I can tell, because there's a little dot coming up. For something completely different. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now the real question is, can we leave the galaxy? Um, actually, yes, I do believe so. I wish I could just like step on my phone here. That'd be nice. You did say that technically we could do that. That's pretty cool. We could be the first people to leave the galaxy. We might have to sit here with the with the FTL drive running for like twenty years, but we'll get there. Twenty years. What's well, another twenty years of my life wasted in a way in a video game? Basically, what I've been doing already, anyway. Exactly. Glad you see it my way. Yeah, I don't think we're approaching this. No. I no, I don't think so either. Box. No, I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's just massive, but it's one of those things that's going to be like three days later. Perhaps. If only it had like a location setting or something. See if there's any like nebulas in any of these um, listed areas. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, thank you. God, it's, it's glued to my screen. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Yeah. Oh no, I have another code. <laughs> I've been duped. <laughs> He's stuck. That's uh, okay, I have all the power. Where's the nearest star? There you go, door up. Um. I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Just There you go, that. door's unlocked. Use that, engage. Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> there we go. Oh, we're going back oh, to Earth. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Let that handle itself. Oh! What, what is this? What is what? Huh. There is a, um... Star system that was listed as, uh, D-Nebola. Yeah. It's not a nebula, but... 
It's also not on my list anymore. We might have just looked uh distance. Oh no, here it is. Jeez, my list keeps like changing. Yeah, there we go. Send to helm. Let's go. Onwards. Dinaboya. Dinabola. Plus enough. Dan Ebola. Yes. God, the whole ship is disco mode. It's not just the bridge, it's the whole ship. I've forgotten how to disco. Oh god, the whole ship. Oh, uh, check out the storage room. All the food is disco. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's trippy as hell. Oh, distributor, VIP lounge. Utilities, lighting. Interesting. So I can just disconnect the lighting for the side rooms. Which doesn't do anything because I think. Well, there's two side rooms. Interesting. Oh god. The disco lighting against the white walls of the ship is insane. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh wow. It Attention really all hands. Color. This is your captain speaking. We must disco. Oh no. Disco I've, that I've been locked out. Oh, oh no. You're gonna have to guess your way through. Oh uh, no. Um. Eh. Oh no. Uh. Um. I'll give you a hint. They're all the same number. Okay. I tried one two three four. I tried nine 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 nine. I tried one three three seven, and I tried seventeen oh one. They're all the same number. Yeah, yeah. I'm going going down the list. Hey, look at that. Uh, open. Oh, oh, we're approaching the place you wanted to go to. Nice. Then boy, yeah. God damn it! This one slot too. Oh wow, that is that is a bright star. What's um, the new one star? Go ahead and uh, enable the. Uh, hang on, I'm just. I can't even see it. There we go. Um. I think this might be a neutron star. There's, there's a lot of like uh, distinct evaporation, as it were, of the uh, the star. Yeah, I'm just. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you still trying to get on the bridge? What the hell? There, okay. I'll unlock it for you. I'm like, I'm trying all the numbers. <laughs> it ain't working. Oh, hell yeah. This is really cool. Oh, geez. Oh, that's less cool. Oh, God. Isn't it beautiful? Too tall Toby. Hey, what's up, man? Welcome to the party. We're playing. Yeah, it is disco time. Yeah. Uh, What's up, man? It is party time. Uh, Captain 
Attention all hands. Uh, show me what you got. I'm sorry, I forgot how to dance. If he's gonna have disco lighting, he needs a dance button. I, I really hope he adds uh, like em emotes. He, yeah. Specifically a disco emote. Yeah, that's the only one I want. And nice. again, if only I could just fly us into the star right now, that would be amazing. I mean, why not? Oh, well, true. We could just accelerate us just enough to... Are we getting any closer? Hang on. Now we are. Slowly but surely, yep, a little bit faster. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> Just our impending doom. Oh, geez. Disengage before we go through it. Because we know that once we hit it, it's just gonna... Hang on, let's even... Let's go. Engage. Let's see how, how close we can get to this. Yeah. Are you in the um, outside view? No, I am flying the ship closer to the star. I see. They're getting percent. I don't feel like we're moving at all. Yeah, there's um. You got to look at like the speed calculations on the side. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna touch. We're gonna touch the star. Yeah, but a good time to slow us down there, Ensign. Ensign? Lieutenant? You know. Oh, man. The animations are really cool. Um. There we go. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, oh the geez. light. The gravity of this star light. would have already disintegrated us long ago. Yeah. I mean, about the same time we dropped out, that's for sure. Yeah. Hang on, let's go grab, let me go grab one of them exterior cameras. Third, oh my god, third person. Oh, we have, we still have plenty of room. Oh, right? hell yeah. You kind of glow a little bit in third person, I forgot. Okay, after control, let's, let's, um... Oh god. There we go. What are these cameras? I think the exterior wall of the um Oh god, I don't have the shield anymore of the of the bridge um lighting. Oh no. Oh, oh dear god. Oh it's so bright. Oh, wow. Wish this camera was faster. Look at the god rays coming off of the sun. Oh, jeez. This raises many questions, such as, how are you not melting? How have we not been pulled into this, uh into the star by its immense gravity. Mm-hmm. And how are we still, uh, you know, a single ship at this point? Mm. And how are we not blinded? Oh, we're already blinded. Everything we're seeing is just an after image. It's everywhere. Like, I can't look away almost any direction I'm seeing just the star yes basically any direction b behind us but even that like there's a tiny little window of viewability before I reach before I'm looking at the god rays of the sun oh man Oh, what have oh, I done? Oh, Jesus. 
Um, you've gone into plaid. Sir? What happens if they turn the sidewalk phrase off? Or the essential off? Um. Okay. It's, uh, uh. That's interesting. Oh, my. There's just. Well, this is the inside of a. In case anyone here was wondering, this is what the inside of a star actually looks like. Does it yeah, this is inside the sun. Yeah, this is what the inside of the sun looks like. Looks beautiful. Let me just here. Let me just hide my camera so that you can see. Look at that. It's beautiful. Man, beautiful. you believe that's what we all look like on the inside? Where is... Ah, here it is. What other... Wait, how are you able to fly through things? Uh, it's weird. Uh, you can only fly through, like, certain things. So, like, I just flew l literally right outside the window. Okay, so I can just go through the window? Yeah. Oh, good. Say, so prepare yourself for the immense brightness. Man, this is a small star, though. Oh no. Every time the satellite spins around, it reflects. Oh gosh. Hey, Sun Shield is back on. <laughs> oh, you're captain again. Oh, am I? I wonder if that's just uh, what happens when I use the camera. I think so. Alright, what do you want to explore next? It's a good question. We have a lot of options here. We have Porima, which yeah, is uh, 13 there. light years away. F class star, four terrestrial planets, a gas giant, and uh, three gra gas dwarfs. Let's go to the gas giant. Uh, send to helm. Okay, that's pretty cool if you look up. Well, what, huh? You probably missed it. Probably. We were we were warping past the star. It was pretty cool when you looked up. Yeah. Nice. Two minutes. If you're just now joining, then welcome everyone. Appreciate everyone being here. Uh, I would hope so. Oh yeah, we are. I'm just gonna see the uh, effects. 
Uh, yeah, if the polarizer is on, then it won't. Uh... I didn't know you were British. Am I? <laughs> Your uniform has the British flag on it. Oh. Uh, I gotta fix that. Uh, I'm you set to the United States. Right and I'm set to United States. Oh, that's weird. Huh. Yeah, on my end, it has the U.S. flag on it. Oh, you had your jacket on just a second ago. Oh, interesting. Did I not, uh, maybe it's because it pulled from my previous save, but because I didn't click save while I was connected to you, maybe? Interesting. Maybe, yeah. Now you're wearing white shirt. No, now you're wearing the jacket again. <laughs> oh, now you got the t-shirt on. Weird. Demo version? Oh, yes. We got a gas giant here. Oh. Here we are. I'm guessing. Beautiful. It's very dark. We came in on the dark side of the planet. Of course we did. I'm guessing there's going to be at least one. I would, if I were to to be in charge of this, then I'll put a science station right here next to the navigation station to do like extra scans and things to determine. What kind of life forms are on board? How many of them? What time frame they're in? And how much technology they have? And then on this opposite side, you'd have a tactical and probably... I don't know if I would go for an engineering or, or like a communications. I don't know. I think engineering would be back here. And I think it would just be the bare necessities for engineering. Yeah, just kind of an overall reactor status, power output, yeah. power input. I, I would think that science would be over here with like this, but I would also think that this would actually be more of like navigation. Yeah, or maybe a, maybe a science alcove over here in this other alcove here. Yeah. Maybe that's a better spot for science. Um, hmm. But um, I do think a communications would be a good idea, especially on the Q&A. He yeah. did say that uh, communications are a big part of the game and that um, if another civilization is advanced enough, then you can just connect your computers up with some kind of communications and then just instantly know each other's languages for translation. If the other civilization isn't uh, advanced enough, you might have to like probe them and find like newspapers or television shows or whatever of theirs, feed them to your linguistics department for them to feed that into your universal translator and gain their language knowledge, which is really okay. cool sounding. Yeah, that, that sounds pretty cool. I don't know how they're going to do that, but it still sounds... No clue, cool. but it sounds oh, awesome. going to be, like, potentially AI-generated languages? I don't know. That's probably the case. Um, I know that uh, depending on what kind of money I have after my taxes come back, I'm definitely going to try to back them on Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, I definitely did. You should see some of the perks that you can get with it. I scrolled through. I wish I could afford the five hundred dollar tier, because uh, you uh, do like a whole race. I may have gone above and beyond. Yeah. Hey, good for you though. Hey, like it helps them develop their game. So. Yeah, and I look forward to this game. It's the first of its kind, really, that is promising so much and actually has the potential. I I just. I do kind of worry about it this time, though. Yeah, like, but... I can't help but worry about it. Just yeah. Because, like, there's been so many... There's just been so many uh, space sim games that just don't... Don't live up. ...ever fully launch. Yeah. They're, you know, they're, they're stuck in a 10-year time loop. 
nothing getting done. Or they prom they over promise at the start, or they have too big of ideas like uh, No Man's Sky. Like yeah. at first, when you look at all the original No Man's Sky content, like um, videos, they never yeah. said half of the stuff that people asked about. And then soon after, after like the original E3 debut, everyone started going, oh, what about this? What about this? What about this? Mm -hmm. And I think he started to just say yes to everything. And then that's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. If, if I was them, what I would have done was I would have gone. We're going to start with this, but we have laid out now. Yeah. And in the future, we will Maybe we'll add get to... DLCs whatnot yeah. for everything that you want uh revamp master says it's why i'm fine with star citizen but i'm not expecting it in the few years of its creation oh yeah absolutely i mean the thing i'm happy with uh star citizen is i don't worry about it as much as i used to um they've done a lot especially with this upcoming update the 0.23 uh, is it 0.23 update uh, there's just going to be a lot of things updating in that. And I, I look forward to actually playing with that as well. But the fact that I had to wait 10 years for it, you know, it, it kind of, like, I, I, I've been playing it. And once, you, once you've been playing it for that long, it's like... You start to lose some faith in it. But. Um, and I did ask in the chat today, um, and I did get an answer. I asked in the chat for their Ask Me Anything, or uh, not an Ask Me Anything, but Q&A. And I asked, um, how do you plan on keeping your motivation? Because, you know, I was in Revan Master Knows. I came from a different stream with one of my good friends, and motivation really started to take a hit. And uh, I ended up leaving because I made some personal life mistakes. And um, Brandon still is, you know, we still keep in contact, but um, not nearly as much as we used to. And right. I am no longer on their game dev team. And Brandon has become official. And at least I don't know how official he's become, but he's told me that they're dissolving the business that he and I created. Which means oh. essentially that the video game that he and I worked on for five years is probably being dissolved with it. Uh, so it sucks, and it was kind of started, at least f officially, by me kind of making bad decisions and, and being kicked out of the business. But at the same point, you know, for months before that, uh, motivation really took a toll. So I asked basically, hey, how do you plan on keeping motivation? And um, his wife answered in the chat and basically said it's been like his lifelong dream ever since he was a kid to make a game like this. So... Hopefully that's enough. If he's been able to do this much on his own, yeah. Just the two of them though, making a game on this scale, mm -hmm. and I I really hope it is as you say, where he can keep the motivation. I hope so. I mean, I know he's gonna bring other people on, so he's got yeah. like the one of the Elite Dangerous guys working on music, like one of the sound oh, designers wow. from Elite Dangerous working on music and sound effects. So yeah. that's pretty good. Like, I know for a fact that that uh, going to warp sound effect, mm -hmm. like uh, this sound effect, yes. is from the uh, that guy. So they both sound really good. Um, I know that uh, he wants to get a guy specifically for character creation and character specialization, which would be nice because... Um, it's not the most important thing now, but having a character that represents what you want to be in this game does make sense. Um, you know, so I am fully on board with him getting other people on. And basically, from what I know, it's been basically just him and he's and the wife has basically just been like the, um, the logistics person. You know, she's kind of handling comments. She's kind of the the person keeping him in check and keeping him sane <laughs> so she was like in the chat you know taking the yeah. questions and all that and responding to the smaller ones she could respond to in text and sending the bigger ones off to him that is a i would say equally as important role oh yeah 
as the actual development. Someone I sitting think. behind the scenes being able to organize your, your paper trail is mm -hmm. is really important. Keeping you on task, too. Because mm -hmm. I know it takes me a lot whenever I'm developing uh, my, my models on Blender. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I'll lose interest. And yeah. I'll just be like, I'll move on to something else. That Especially the bigger, the bigger projects. Yeah. I mean... I've always been more of a prop builder anyway, mm. so I don't tend to make oh, no. entire models. I knock over a bottle of wine. I mean, I've made the uh, Oh, wow. Have, wine do you see that this these wine bottles are full? They actually have liquid in them. If you turn the wine bottle, hang on, let me like knock it over on the... You can see that the liquid goes horizontal. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. If I pick it up and I press Wait, R... Yeah. You can see that they go back how they should be. Wait, That's crazy. I... Wait. Because the... it looks like the cork is a separate item as well. Maybe you can yeah. uncork it yet, but... Uh, he mentioned that um, as far as like communicators go, he's going to have inter-ship inter communication, proximity chat, of course, but then like interdepartmental chat oh oh i kicked one of the bottles out the window <laughs> oops well we christened the ship just in reverse did it go out the window or is this the one here did it just end up oh i i saw a bottle fly out the window like oh. past the ship well I, figured I just saw a shooting star but well oops Um, anyway, for intership communications, he's going to have, like, think of, like, a Bluetooth earpiece from, like, the mid-2000s on your ear, but it's going to be, like, an, a uh, an AR headset. Um, okay. So, like, when you pick up a tool as the chief engineer, it will have the proper, like, AR stuff to take care of it. Or, um... When you pick up a weapon, then you will have the proper AR mm. things to to take care of that. So that makes sense. I, I might have to uh, end this early because my computer is getting hot. All right, that's no problem. We're uh, we're at two hours. We've been playing a good time, so uh, we might uh, we might call it there, guys. Uh, we have had tons of fun here. Let me go to the bridge so I can do a proper send off for us here. Okay. We'll come up here and join us. I might need to upgrade my cooling. That might be might be a shit waste. Can I um Can I just Let's go to the star. Let's finish this off by by navigating to the star of this system. Just uh, uh, there it is. I guess Max that doesn't help that I have Blender open at the same time. No, probably not. I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't see any smoke yet, so just fly directly into a star. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been quite fun. Telestris, as always, it has been fun. It has been I haven't gotten fun. to do stuff with the, like this with you in ages. I can't wait until we have the whole rest of the ship simulated. Absolutely. Um, let's turn on the polarizer so that we can actually see. Hopefully we need to see where we're going. And, um... Telestris, to you and to everybody else. Um... Been a good one. Thank you everyone for uh, spending your day with me. Remember on my channel every day is a weekend. Check out the Discord, the website, and all that kind of stuff. And um, I will see everybody next time. Next weekend. Bye. Bye, Revan Master. Uh, bye, Toby. Bye, everyone else who might be watching. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye, Revan. Bye. Bye. Bye, Telestris.
Bye. Bye. Anyone else?